So welcome to Chucket Alliance 2 with the mod 1.13. I'm gonna be starting a very new game here for this let's play. I have never played this game completely through anyways. So at least half of the game is going to be completely something that I do not know how things are gonna go, it is see. I'm gonna be taking an insane difficulty, which I know is going to be extremely, extremely hard. But that is unfortunately or fortunately how I like to be playing this game. Uh, suffering. A little bit masochist probably. But that is still how I want to do it. This doesn't really matter where we have it because I'm still only going to create one character. Which is going to be a little bit like me. And skill traits, new game style. I'm gonna be taking Skiffy because I have not played with it that much. Realistic game style, I have gone to somewhere around half of the game, so as said, some of the I know some of the game, but not completely. I have not played this game through yet. I do not want Iron Man mode because it would make this very, very difficult or even more difficult than it already is, and yeah, it's in, wouldn't be nice. I like the number of terrorists to be random. Poppy race selection can be awesome. Progress speed of item choices, I am not 100% sure what it is, so... I'm just gonna have it as normal. Inventory attachments can be new. Enemies drop all items definitely on, because I know there is going to be hell of a lot of enemies on this insane difficulty with this mod and I am not going to survive long at all if I don't get all the help I can get and for example already because of the fact that if I don't get enough ammunition even decent weapons there's no chance I'm gonna be able to take care of all of the enemies that are going to come at us so enemies drop all items on Zones of guns, yes, secret weapon catches can be random. Then start. And there's a, a warning for us. You have chosen insane mode. Warning, don't blame us if you get shipped back in little pieces. Yeah, I know, unfortunately. Diatrana will kick your ass hard. Your choice will affect things throughout the entire course of the game. So choose wisely. Are you sure you want to play in insane mode? Yes, even if I know it's going to be hard. Approaching waypoint, Charlie. Left column, please advise. Left column, please advise. Make it column. Fire station Tango. Tango, firewood ready. There you can see our enemy. They're trying to. I was happy to hear you have decided to take the assignment. No doubt your inquiries have shown that I, Enrico Chivaldori, 
speak the truth. In the past ten years, since killing my father and framing me, my wife has inflicted great suffering upon my people. Those that may be of value to her are imprisoned, beaten, and tortured. The old, the sick, even infants with birth defects are removed swiftly from the population. Now it is time to remove her. I have brought the money you requested. It is everything I have. However, Arulko is full of gold and silver, and you might be able to convince the miners to help us in the struggle. There also exists a small but determined rebel movement. They are led by a man named Miguel Cordona. If you can locate Miguel, I have written a letter for you to give him. I believe he will accept you and prove to be an invaluable ally. I wish you luck, my friend. And this is where the game starts. As you could see, we took a new job assignment of uh, taking care of the Atrana that has terrorized the uh, country of Anruko. Uh, we can also see a little bit a uh, recon report of uh, Anruko. Confidential, Anruko durable history, called military background intelligence, cast prepared in full. There's some pages here. The major capital is Meduna. Nine towns remote and mostly rural. Two airports, two medical facilities. Ruler Queen Tiatran and Reitman. Reitman. Most government services, including education, were terminated approximately eight years ago. Then military, economical, history. A lot of different kind of uh, information that you can read if you want. Then we got an email. We know what you're thinking. So this is find out who you really are. Institute for Mercenary Profiling. So here we can basically then create in their page, internet page, our own character, which is quite a nice way of creating it. We need a secret activation code, except 264. So let's get started in creating our character. Six two four. Downloading. Let's begin. So we can first of all create our name, a nickname, gender, and I think I'm gonna go with. Mm, then I would need some kind of a sure name, maybe mm, something like that. Maybe <laughs> I was trying to. Do something like. Uh, uh, I suppose that will do. Whatever. This is nevertheless the way we are gonna be seen as uh, with our nickname. And I think the links fits the team of different. Uh, well, there are some other characters that we can hire who also have short uh, nicknames for themselves. So I thought about going with this one. Then we can choose uh, diff uh, from these kind of portraits what we actually look like. I'm gonna go with this one. Here. Let's get the show on the road. And then a voice. We've got trouble. Okay, let's pop some zip. I am usually going with trouble. voice 2, okay. so sometimes let's voice 3. I think I'm gonna go with voice 3 this time around. And then we can also choose our skin, hair and color plus shirt and pants color on the screen. I'm gonna go just with something pretty neutral. Then we can create our character. In with this uh, mod we can easily choose our different kind of uh, well, personal traits plus also our skills etc. I'm gonna go with assertive here. Has bonus on training militia and is better at communicating with people. Gains no morale for actions of other mercs. Would be a lot of other nice things too, and I want to have uh, some kind of disability as well. And I think fear of insects is the best one I can take from here. That would fit the best. A look at last insect can cause big problems, and being in tropical sectors also reduce his performance a bit. And then we can pick skills. In here, you usually would be 
uh, for filling a personality questionnaire if you would be playing the original game but well this does make it easier to just pick what I would like to be and unfortunately I think I need as good of a skill in marksman as possible because uh, yeah it's going to be very hard even though I would like to have uh, deputy skills as well but it would be more effective if I could actually have more guys that I could uh, hire for my group but I have so much final seal situation that it's not really possible so I'm just gonna take the sniper and from here there would be a lot of nice things too like athletics which would uh, permit us to run walk etc quicker because our actions it costs less action points for us but but I'm not gonna go with it. Teaching would be nice to scout in night ops, but I'm gonna go with stealth this time around. So minus 50% AP is needed to move quick uh, quietly. Plus 40% chance to move quietly. Plus 25 to stealth, being invisible if none notice. Reduce cover penalty for movement by 25%. And then we can pick our attributes. I think I'm gonna be starting with the experience level of 2. The more experienced the character is, the easier they are or the better they are at interrupting, interrupting uh, enemies while they have their turn as well. I don't remember how much more it affects but at least that. I'm gonna be putting explosive and mechanical skills to 0. Medical I'm gonna have with that. 35, then I'm gonna increase my marksmanship even further, then I'm gonna increase my leadership at least a little bit, wisdom I'm gonna be having as high as possible, to my knowledge we learn things quicker, uh, for example better at shooting things if we have a very high wisdom, so I like to have it very high. I'm also going to have very high agility, so we have as many movement action points I think as possible. Then at least a little bit better health, and then at least some bit more strength. Kind of would have to decide. Uh, maybe like this. Even though I don't generally speaking care that much about strength, but it does allow us to carry more items, etc. And uh, yeah, I do want to have at least two weapons and generally a pretty nice armor, etc. So I think that's just pretty nice. Of course, health would be nice too, but mm, this is my pick. And are you satisfied with all your selections? Yes, done. And I have to authorize a payment of $3,000. But nevertheless, this is way easier and cheaper way of getting good characters with pretty nice uh, starting weapons. So this would be an easy way of creating a group, but I don't want to do it. I just want to have the one person. Then we got the email from this uh, place with our results, analyze results. We can look a little bit into it, not gonna be reading all of it, it's uh, 13 pages anyways. Our attitude. And there it says that we are assertive. You always try to see the bright side of everything. And then we can see about the skills. And imperial skills, marksmanship. Obviously, you trained with the marine group. You're a great shot, amazing. Training recommended medical because uh, we know a little bit of medical, but not that much. What do me? What do you mean? I gotta start. Very interesting. Okay, what? The? Uh, you're there on the spot with first aid and can be helpful to the team. Still, there's room for improvement, and you have the potential. So before you try to perform any major surgery, what do I mean? I gotta start wearing dresses. You better hit the boots. Training can help. And then the very bad skills of the low end of the scale. Mechanical. We recommend you find yourself a mechanically inclined friend and hang kind of close to him. With your skill, you couldn't even fix the stampler. And if you're con champs, buddy, you better learn how to run. So, yeah, we couldn't even fix the stampler. We are so great with mechanical skills. <laughs> then, explosives. So, tell us exactly how many pieces do 10 fingers blow into? 
Well, luckily not everyone needs this skill, but as a precaution, you should stay away from explosives and be real, real careful with grenades. Then there are special skill training sniper eyes of a hawk. You can shoot the wing from a fly at a hundred yards. And stealth here, silent as a cat, smooth as the side of a sailor bullet, and able to get in and out before anyone notices you've arrived. Then physical abilities as well, that we are very good at dexterity and agility. And wisdom, you ever tried Jeopardy? Einstein, evidently is a distant relative of yours. With your brains, you learn quickly from experience and training and have little trouble mastering complex things. And that's pretty much as much as there is to it. But yeah, here's a different kind of uh, emails that we've received. This Enrico is the guy who gave our money originally and gave us this mission, so to speak. And then here we can see our character at the moment. We also can see anyone else that we hire into the group. We can see our statistics and also if we cost some money, but of course we don't cost any money ourselves. And then we can see our gear, that uh, our starting gear. Which is pretty nice overall. Then in the web pages we are going to this IEM. So, the Association of International Mercenaries, where we are going to hire two people. We can't really afford a lot more, so I'm also just going to open up this poppy race here, so we can easily click into it from here now on. And, yeah. I'm thinking of going either with Thor or Hitman for a week. But I think I'm gonna go with Hitman this time around. And we can even uh, with this uh, newer version of the mod uh, choose what kind of uh, uh, equipment we would like him to have with him. Which is quite nice. There's a lot of different choices overall. Uh, five different kits. I think I'm gonna go with this one. At least we have a micro Uzi. We don't have the best possible band. At least I assume this is best possible. We can see how much the gear would cost with this uh, <laughs> with this setup. So it costs way less with this setup. This would be way too expensive for us. Hello, Ace. You're talking to Hitman Hennessy, mercenary for hire. Hello, Hitman. So what else were you gonna be saying if I wait a little bit longer? Don't believe everything you read, Ace. I have never felt better. No. Oh. Yeah, and that's the reason why he's saying is because additional info. Hitman has been talking about throwing in the towel and becoming a combat instructor because he's getting a little bit older, but he hasn't done Hello. it yet. How and I'm gonna gonna be hiring him for one week so that I have yeah, at least one pretty nice guy with me who I don't need to be worried about paying immediately again. Because see yeah, money is going to be issue. And I wouldn't have anyone, basically, uh, long enough if I would just like, uh, well, not hire someone for a week or so. And then we can have one more guy. Uh, actually, MD, who I was thinking about, has gone on an assignment, so... Um, okay, we can't take him then. Hmm... I don't know. This would be nice because of the fact that he doesn't need medical deposit. Uh, this is kind of insurance for a lot of guys. Have some kind of a medical deposit. But this guy, for example, John Paul Peters, doesn't require it, which allows us to get him way easier. Mm, can we afford any stuff for him? I don't know why he has marbles with him, but he does, if he would choose kit 5. That is the cheapest. I don't know if I can even afford yes. it. No, I can't. Or can I? Can I afford it for one day? Not quite. Oh, then he's gonna start with no equipment and just come for a I ride like for a little bit. Necks. Maybe you could use a guy like that. Mm, yeah, maybe for a day. I'll be there. 
Okay. But yeah, we don't have a lot of money left. 1383. So... We are gonna be starting here on Omerta. We saw the introduction video, which... Uh, gave the impression that there's been a lot of destruction here when the rebels uh, had their base in Omerta and the Diatrana's forces attacked there quite a lot. But yeah, this is a very nice tactical element overall, this map. These areas that we can uh, go and walk in. And then we can see our characters here, which we have. And then from here we can go exactly to the battle. I'm gonna first of all save here. Well, not have. Can't have the uh, upper dot for whatever reason, so I'm not gonna have it then. Let's play. And. Uh, what else? I think I'm gonna be continuing from this next time.